Today, we had the honor, privilege to get a visit with Senator Elizabeth Warren, who is right there for what we do. But firsthand is what she wanted to hear, and that's what we were able to try to provide. The voices of those who receive, the voices of those who help, how deep our services go. There aren't that many voices out there, particularly voices talking about people who are not well off, who have been left behind. So for her to come here today, it's important. Every one of these folks, all over the city, all of them, ever, all across the state, they come in every day. And they take care of the children, take care of our elderly, and we're gonna be doing that as long as we have breath. ABCD is such a vital part of our communities, of making our communities strong, of making our communities function. So I was here to see the work firsthand and to be reminded why it is worth investing in ABCD. They're our future. Part of the reason that I wanted to be here today was to bring more attention to the fights that you are on the front line in. Much of what I'm fighting for in Washington right now is represented right here at this table. What happens right here in this building is about building opportunity, building a future. A head start, it's about these little kids who are ready to learn. All we gotta do is just give them a chance. Head Start provided a way for leadership for me in the community to be engaged and find an outlet. So all, all that in our life has been very impactful. We're a safe haven for families. They're experiencing the same as the children, and so they're coming in, they're speaking with our staff, they're looking for support, and Head Start, thankfully, is there to help them and provide those supports. Let's name something about Head Start that you think makes it special. What makes the difference? Other schools, you, you have the children, you care about the children, we care about. I have families come to me for everything, domestic violence, if they need food, if they need help. They, they We're so open and, and have just the heart. We have a heart that they genuinely come to us in every aspect of their life. Also, I want to hear more about where we are with LIHEAP. What started out as a program from the first oil crisis in the late 70s has really here turned into a lifeline for family stabilization, where you know someone is struggling paying their bills, whether it's an oil bill or a gas bill. And what fuel assistance does is it creates stability for those families to get through the winter. I mean, we were able to respond to hundreds of emergency situations during those cold spells in early January, where people had no heat, where we could go out and fix those heating systems so that people could stay in place. If they don't get that assistance when it really gets cold, that could mean we could have people right here in our communities who are having to choose between food and heat. That's not who we are. As Americans, we're better than that. We want all the pieces to work better because that's the only way that our children are truly going to have a chance. I think we have anti-poverty agencies. One, because it's a measure of who we are as a people. We do this because it is right. But we also do it because as Americans, we believe in opportunity. We believe that every kid can get a fighting chance. And the only way that happens is if kids who are born into poverty really do get that chance to live in a home uh, that is warm and live in a place that has enough food and has a chance to get an education that lets them move forward and be all that they can be. We do this because it's the measure of ourselves.